Hi right, guys, so I promised you an updated cage tour. So I'm going to show that to you today. Um, sorry, Muggles was being funny. Um, don't worry, this isn't the cage. Um, this is Muggles' temporary cage, but um, so here it goes. So, forgive me for the mess on the floor. I just finished cleaning the cage. Um, so, Muggles is in there right now, but uh, she doesn't stay in there when I'm not in the room. Um, because Molly's still a bit evil. Latifah's doing fine with her. Molly's a bit evil to her. <laughs> but she's very excited to be in this cage, as you can see. That's why I really hope they get along soon, because she seems so much happier in this cage than she does in that little tiny one. So let's get to the cage tour. So, if you notice two things that are different. First of all, there's an extra foot of cage on it. It's now a 2x5. When it used to be a 2x4 with, like, extra levels and stuff. Um... And then we have this loft that I have here. So let's start from over here. I also added another um, hay rack. Since Muggles is going to be in here soon, we need more than one hay rack. Um, and I got some new hay. I'll show you that. It's this orchard grass, but it, I can only find it in small bags, which is really annoying. Because if I want like a bucket supply like that, I'm going to have to get a lot of those little bags, which is kind of expensive, so. But anyways, um, here's the two hay racks, and they love that orchard grass by Oxbow. If we're going to get the garage sign in the background, I needed extra core plast to put behind it so that when I fill it up, it doesn't go out onto the other side. I know it's really messy there, but I have to clean that up. Um, so that's that, and um, I have a couple extra pieces of fleece here, if you can see. It's from a Snuggie. I kind of cut it up. <laughs> but that's because they pee and poo there a lot. Um, a lot more than they would any other place in the cage. So I needed extra pieces of fleece there. Um, and then under here, there's nothing under there yet. Just a bunch of poo. Oh, what you doing? trying to get up um <laughs> but i i won um chins and pigs contest and she was giving away um this little cozy cup and uh cozy sacks and stuff like that so on the way i have a cozy cup cozy sack um and hammock i think that's what i asked for um so that will all be going underneath there but for now they can just run around there muggles is enjoying it um up here as you, as you can see, this loft is very stable. It's caving a little bit, but it's not going anywhere. Um, and there's two pigs and an igloo up there. And a lot of fleas. So, yeah, it's not going anywhere. So up here, this is where I put their food when I want them to eat. Um, I put one igloo up there because I don't want to put igloos under the loft. Because that would be stupid. Why would I put a hidey house underneath a dark area so but I don't want to put it there either because it kind of blocks things <laughs> I just like leaving a big space for them to run around oh my goodness muggles makes this place look so much bigger <laughs> um, yeah so I just have a salt wheel uh, some fleece so they can't get their feet stuck in the holes you can't even feel them because it's made out of two extra grids and just a hidey house in there so that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, that's the updated cage. Um, I don't think there's anything else. If you have any questions about the cage or anything, uh, then you just comment below. I didn't, I didn't put that house or the tube or anything in it right now because I don't want um, them to gang up on Muggle muggles if she um uh, oh <laughs> if she goes into one of their houses so yeah i hope you like the new cage and i hope muggles will be able to share it with them soon and i'll talk to you guys later